here to broadcast the St. Paul Community Baptist Church and the multimedia ministry. We are grateful to be with you today. We thank each and every one of you for joining us and being with us live here on Facebook. And those of you that have joined us on uh, YouTube and, and, and Instagram, we thank you. And we praise God for this day. And we thank God for another opportunity to in his name to worship and praise him. Come on, somebody. And if it wasn't for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. For he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we will sing this song. With me, Lord, walk with me all along this tedious journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. Oh, my hand. somebody, for he is worthy to be praised. And we hope you all a blessed and wonderful Mother's Day. Amen. And, 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 and remember how you we have made it this far. Amen. And, and all, all the children, amen, show your mother some love. Amen. 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 Come give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Amen, amen. Uh, uh, before, before I, I, I want to say uh, to all of you uh, that that's willing to to give at this time, amen. Uh, for those that on our, our, our uh, on our broadcast, amen. You can give us here through our Gillify, and for those of you that are present, to just drop in an offering plate, amen, amen. Uh, and at this time, we're going to go to the altar, amen. And I want to ask you a question. Is your all on the altar? Yeah. 
Bless our homes and our families in the name of Jesus. We ask you right now to bless our communities and our homes and our families. Bless the city. Bless every church opening your name. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we ask you to heal those that are sick. Those that need comforting, those that have lost loved ones, give them strength right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, when we've done the, all that we can do and the best that we can, be with us and guide us in a place in your kingdom. Lord, when we get ready to deliver your word today, Speak through us, speak through me, and speak, speak for me, that your words will flow freely from my lips. We thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Come on, somebody. Y'all know my favorite. 
to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to you, and we hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen. And, and that we can show you some love. And we, we thank God for this day. Amen. Amen. I want to call your attention, amen, to the book of Matthew, I mean, a book of Mark, uh, chapter 11, verses 15 through 18. Amen. That's Mark Chapter 11, verses 15 through 18. And it reads like this. And they come to Jerusalem. And Jesus went into the temple and began to cast, them, cast out them that sold and bought in the temple. And overthrew the tables of the money changers. And the seats of them that sold doves. And would not suffer, and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, it is, is it not written, My house should be called of all nations the house of prayer? 
but you have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and the chief priests heard it and sought how they might destroy him. For they feared him because all the people were astonished at his doctrine. Amen. And so is the reading <laughs> of the word. Just for a thought today, I know this is Mother Day, and I know this is not uh, your, your, your usual message, but I want to talk about it's time to cleanse this place. Come on, somebody. It's time to cleanse this place. Come on, somebody. One of the things, one of the things that I have learned uh, uh, that the Lord has taught me through what I've gone through in my life, in the tragic uh, uh, incidents, events that have taken place in my life, that I have learned that many Christians today study and learn the word of God for themselves, only to find what they are reading is not what's being heard from the pulpit. Come on, somebody. Uh, this includes uh, many high-profile and successful pulpits. Come on, somebody. Emphasis on the good life. Amen. What, what, what God can give me. Amen. Seems to be the norm. And what God uh, uh, can give me seems to be the standard. It, it, it seems to be the pattern. And, 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 and it seems that we have made it a custom. But, but there, there, are, there is no real, a genuine, a sincere call to give anything but money. Come on, somebody. Are you with me? Amen. 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 But when you look at this text, Jesus cleanses the temple by driving out the money changers. Jesus drives out, uh, 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 cleanses the church by driving out the dealers and the traders and the merchants. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And what you don't realize that, that these represent, uh, uh, signify, symbolize, symbolize false teachers. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, by violating what they know is right. Come on, somebody. Uh, 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 they, they, they were being disobedient, rebellious, and wayward for their gain. Come on, somebody. And, and we see that going on in a lot of churches. Amen. Today. Amen. In, 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 in this scripture, you'll find that they were selling second rate sacrificial animals to a crowd of uninterested worshipers. Come on, somebody. And this is what you have to realize that, that worshipers are more concerned with, conf with, with comforting their own conscience. Amen. With comforting their own principles uh, than pleasing God. Uh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. And if we look here, uh, you'll notice that there are two things that happen. If you notice that Jesus drive out the sellers and the buyers. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 not just the person behind, amen, the scene, but also the, persist, the participant. Amen. And if you don't believe me, go look at in Romans. Amen. In Romans 1, 23 says, Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but also have pleasure in them that do it. Come on, somebody. Looking out for their own good and their own benefit. But I thought to tell you today that it's time to really cleanse this place. Come on, somebody. It's time to clean the house of God. Amen. Amen. And, and, and when we look at this, when we look at this thing, when we look at this thing, the sellers represent the teachers. Come on, somebody. That know the truth, but, rep, rep, but misrepresent it. Uh, 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 to their advantage. Come on, somebody. Uh, 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 catering to a congregation too busy with the things of this world to seek the Lord on their own. Lord, heavenly, holy ghost. Amen. Not caring what, what the truth really is. Amen. And, and you have to understand, we, uh, 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 people can buy you a pocket full of beans if you ain't paying attention. And you, am I right about it? Come on, somebody. And, and when we look at that, we have to also look at the buyers. 
Amen. Because the bars are the congregation hurrying and preoccupied with self-righteousness, with, with, with uh, self-interest. Amen. And, and the whole picture of, of, of that church. Amen. And, and, and you look at Revelation chapter 3 and verse 16. It's the whole picture of the lukewarm church. Lord, help me to go. In other words, they have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and you find that in, 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 uh, in 2 Timothy 3 and 5. Amen. And the trouble with the, uh, with the lukewarm, with lukewarm, is that it is mixed with hot and cold. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, uh, that, that it does not know that, that it is lukewarm, amen. And when we look at the church in La Laodicea, amen, La they was like this, amen, amen. And it is a picture of the church of the last days. It's a church of the times that we're living in now. It's a church that, 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 that has turned to itself. It's a church that is, is too hot. If it were hot, then, then, then great works of the Holy Spirit would be evident. If it was cold, then it would teach and convert and stir. Amen. Instead, it has been, it has comforted, amen, itself to, to, to sleep with the dead. Amen. To sleep with emptiness, uh, to sleep with lifeless works and, and vain works, which is useless works and, and useless babbling, uh, babblings. Uh, it lives, amen, but it is dead. Lord, to cry, Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. But when we look at this thing, amen, amen, amen. Uh, Christ, Christ is violent toward these sellers and dealers. When you look at these scriptures, amen, uh, driving them out with the whip. Amen. If you don't believe me, look look in John chapter 2. Amen. Let, let's go and look at it real quick. And, and, and we, we'll break it down. So you won't be saying, Miller, see. Come on, somebody. John chapter 2, verse 15. And it read like this. He said, it says, uh, let me go, let me find it. And, and he made, and, and he had made a scourge of small cords. And he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep, and the oxen, and poured the, out the money changes uh, and overthrew the tables. Lord, have me on the goes. Uh, 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 and it is with a violent act that he would spew us or eject uh, uh, this dead church out of his mouth. Lord, have me on and, and we need to stay alive. Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, he is purging or he is cleansing the temple. And he, uh, 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 he quotes that the clear, he quotes the, he quotes the clear and pure, unadulterated scripture, truth of the scripture. Teaching as he is re re rebuking, uh, teaching as he is reprimanding, calling to their remembrance of the things of, uh, 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 of the things they have long known. Come on, somebody. And it's one thing to know something, but it's, it's another thing to do something about what you know. Come on, somebody. Asking them, is it not written? Come on, somebody. We have to look in the word of God. Because as in the word of God, amen, uh, 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 because they know it's in the word. Come on, somebody. They, they know what's right and what's wrong. And when we look at this scripture, amen, we'll find that the priests and the scribes are angry for several reasons. And it's just like some of the church folk. They get mad for several reasons. Amen. And the first thing they got mad about is they had lost a day's income. Come on, somebody. They couldn't make money like they wanted to. Amen. Amen. The second thing is that they, they had their authority challenged by this unknown person. Come on, somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. They were embarrassed, amen, in front of the people. And we know when we when we embarrass somebody, boy, it show sure hurt they feel it, don't it? Come on, somebody. Amen. And it's just like it's just like many people in the church, amen, are, are much of the same. Amen. And I'm getting ready to go to my seat now. Amen. But but we have to realize that we have many people in the church 
they have settled into their comfort zone. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, and uh, uh, they have become complacent and lazy in the things of God. Oh, Lord, uh, I start by to tell you that it's time to really cleanse this place. Uh, 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 they have become derooted with a cozy routine. Uh, standing up uh, at, at the slightest hint that it might not please be pleasing to God. Uh, Lord, oh, oh Lord, uh, I start by to tell you today, uh, oh, Lord, uh, that pastors and teachers uh, are studying the word of God uh, and searching uh, while they go about their own lives. Uh, oh Lord, uh, unmindful of the real call to service uh, by the Holy Spirit. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, I stop by to tell you uh, that we as the body of Christ uh, we need to shake off the numbness. Uh, uh, we need to shake off the shake off the compla complacency uh, that we must return uh, to the zeal of the first century church and uh, living uh, and breathing uh, preaching uh, and teaching uh, good God Almighty uh, a, a body that acts with a drive uh, good God Almighty uh, cause we're going somewhere uh, it's time uh, to cleanse this place uh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, people are dying uh, every day uh, with Christ as a Savior. Uh, Lord Jesus, uh, how many have we uh, personally that slip into the into, into eternal darkness? Uh, it's time uh, to cleanse this place. Uh, stop making everything. Uh, this seem like a show. Uh, I put out a performance, uh, but it's all about God. Uh, we are all uh, ambassadors. Uh, which means we are all uh, representatives uh, for Jesus Christ, uh, sons and daughters uh, of the Most High. Uh, purchased, uh, purchased uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, Lord, help the Holy Ghost. Uh, I want to tell you uh, that this is a call uh, to remember just who you are uh, and what we are supposed to be doing uh, as a body of Christ. Uh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, let us be renewed, uh, Lord Jesus, by washing uh, in the precious blood of Jesus. Uh, let us be renewed uh, by giving him all our cares. Uh, let us be renewed, uh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, and pray deeply uh, for holy boldness. Uh, we're bold about many things, uh, but we need to be bold about the Lord's business. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus, uh, for connections, uh, we need to be praying uh, for connections to be broken. Uh, we need to be, be praying uh, for sickness. Uh, we need to be praying uh, for disease. Uh, and we need to be praying uh, for conditions uh, to be healed. Uh, and souls to be saved. Uh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, we need to praying uh, for a moment to glorify uh, the Lord. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, we need to be praying uh, that he burns uh, on the inside. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, it's time. Uh, oh, it's time. Uh, it's time to really cleanse uh, this place. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, he's worthy uh, to be praised. Good God Almighty, uh, we need to get out of our comfort zones. Uh, we need to be quit being complacent uh, and lazy. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, and turn over to Jesus uh, and let Him work it out. Uh, he will, uh, He will. Uh, I know He will. Uh, oh yeah, can you say yes? Uh, oh yes. Uh, come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise uh, for His word. To be praised. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And we're grateful today. And we're thankful because it's really time to cleanse this place. Amen. It's time for us 
to, to quit and make exchanges in the church and selling stuff in the church. And it's time to be about our Father's business. Come on, give the Lord a hand, cup of praise, for he is worthy to be praised. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for, for joining us, amen. amen, for all those that have joined us online, amen, and for all those that are coming in, amen, amen, and have joined us, amen, in person, and we're grateful to God today, amen, for all he's done, but he has brought us, amen, from a mighty long way, amen, and we thank God today. Amen. And I know, I know, amen. Y'all, y'all's probably expect this picture to do a little bit more. But uh, I, I have to continue to look out for my health. Come on, somebody. And just give you what God has given me to share with you in just this brief little time. We are thankful today. We thank all our, our visitors, our guests, and we thank our members. Amen. And we thank you for joining us. Amen. And we hope that we have said something to enrich and enhance your lives with Jesus. And I have decided, I have decided, I don't know about you, but I have decided to make Jesus my choice.
have a society. You have an opportunity to give your life to Christ right now. I know it gets hard for you. And I know it's, it gets, it gets, it, it's hard to climb hills. And, 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 and the hills symbolize the struggles and the, the, the pain that we strive to do better. Make your mind. have time to leave it over to the Lord while the blood still runs warm in your veins. Don't wait till it's too late. Amen. Amen. For uh, 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 we must work the works of him that sent us while it is day. For when the night coming, that is when we close our eyes that we can't work no more. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen. 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 We are grateful to all of you that have joined us today. Amen. And we we will be back with you on Thursday night. Amen. On our Zoom platform. Amen. And on our Facebook Live. Amen. For our biblical education and learning. Amen. And, and we're going to continue on. Amen. As we continue to teach him how to be a good Christian. Uh, how to be a good church member in our Christian walk. Amen. Amen. And we thank God today. Amen. And we're, we're going to join you again here. Amen. In another two weeks. Amen. We'll be back be, be at the same channel in the same place. Amen. But God is good all the time. Amen. So let us take the time and then say amen.